I think a good idea in this question is to sketch the cuboid. So something like this. Okay, and I can see I'm splitting it into five in one direction. One, two, three, four, that'll make five. And then I'll carry them up here. And then I'll go with three along here just because I, I didn't make the height that big. And then four, one, two, three in this direction. Okay. And then we're told that three rectangular shaped holes have been drilled passing all the way through. So we're going to get this one here. We're going to get this one here. And at the top, this one here. Great. And now we want to know what fraction of the original cuboid remains. So I can just look at the the three layers separately, actually. If I look at the top layer, then I've got a five by four um, cuboid, I suppose you could see it as. So 20, but then I've removed six from it. So I'm going to have 14 cubes at the top. And by symmetry, because there's going to be a hole underneath as well, but by symmetry, we're going to get 14 on the bottom as well. So actually, it's just the very middle one I have to think about. And that's actually going to be four. Because I've, I'm only left with the corners. Which means in total, I have 32 cubes. Originally, I would have had three times four times five. That's how you find the area of a cuboid. So 20 times uh, three, 60. So the fraction remaining is going to be 32 over 60. We can divide both of these through by four which gives 8 over 15. Um, that is the fraction remaining, because uh, 7 fifteenths would be the fraction that's been taken away. There's other ways you could have done this, like we could have considered, um, and I'm just trying to think how I did it. I actually kind of considered this. I drew the cuboid slightly differently originally and considered this followed by these two. Um, it all works out in a very similar way. So I, I do think actually this is the best orientation because I only need to consider three of them. Um, you could potentially do this by like visualizing how it's cut out. But I personally found that quite difficult. So a little sketch. And even if the numbers were bigger, you could use a small sketch to get the general idea of what's going on um, if we were to extend the problem. Anyway, 8 over 15 is the answer. Yeah, I like this. Good question.